Hi everybody, it's Bill at the Beach. Things I've thought of today include the animist religion, which should fit in with the Judeo-Christian ethic, and uh, what we call learned behavior. How do we learn behavior? We imitate often other people. But once you get older, you have a lot of information. You synthesize information. You just don't use the monkey see, monkey do method. You use the interpretation of facts method. When do I change pictures? Is it at the time of day or the situation in baseball? So, having said that, I've noticed that a lot of people in different races have different spirit animals. Not necessarily the truth, and, and you can get in a lot of trouble. But around here, I've noticed that people use the two-faced pigeon girls, often are birds, two-faced pigeon pooping on someone. That promotes not to ego, but to bull. You must use the bull spiritual symbol. So two-faced pigeon pooping is bull crapping on someone. The symbol is bull, and that's the bull crap. As for the monkey people, you know who you are. If it doesn't mean anything, didn't insult anyone, didn't want to. But those learned so fast from people that say, don't do that, know what you're doing. Those promoted monkey to owl. Okay, what you're looking at there is not an old monkey, you're looking at an owl in Burlow. Hope you enjoy. That will not promote to eagle either. Engineers and scientists use units to measure different things. Distance is measured in meters or feet, depending on if you're using the metric or English system. Recently, it's come up that we need new units for things. Now, let me just start where this should begin. When you had bells, church bells, they were loud. So sound was measured in bells first, then decibels, less of the full church bell sound. Horses or horsepower, HP was a unit of engine performance. Fast, the recent addition of an engine would do in horses. So then you had, of course, candles, which is a measure of candela, or light, or luminescence. Now we have a new thing. That is personal stress measured in tugs. How much is the world pulling at you to do different things? We need to also measure sweetness. That is measured in fudge bars. Okay, how many fudge bars is it? From maple syrup, honey, molasses on down the list. Just so now we have another one. That's the success scale. I myself am subjected to the laws of success and failure. Success is measured in upsides, and failure is measured in dumps. I hope you can use this to help you appreciate and learn where you are in life. This has been another Bill is himself. Thank you. Engineers and scientists use units to measure different things. Distance is measured in meters or feet, depending on if you're using the metric or English system. Recently, it's come up that we need new units for things. Now, let me just start where this should begin. When you had bells, church bells, they were loud. So sound was measured in bells first, then decibels, less of the full church bell sound. Horses, or horsepower, HP was a unit of engine performance. Fast, the recent addition of an engine would do in horses. So then you had, of course, candles, which is a measure of candela, or light, or luminescence. Now we have a new thing. That is personal stress measured in tugs. How much is the world pulling at you to do different things? We need to also measure sweetness. That is measured in fudge bars. Okay, how many fudge bars is it? From maple syrup, honey, molasses on down the list. Just so now we have another one. That's the success scale. I myself am subjected to the laws of success and failure. Success is measured in upsides, and failure is measured in dumps. I hope you can use this to help you appreciate and learn where you are in life. This has been another Bill is himself. Thank you.
Years ago, I was asked to write down my interests on a college record form. I foolishly suggested soccer and politics. I used to love commenting on all the events of the world, and I thought I would be a commentator or at the very worst, a political advisor. Those dreams never happened. I found the comfort and safety of science to lead my way. But on that yearbook, it will say soccer and politics. To remind you, more a commentator on TV or an advisor should someone need assistance on what to do with a very detailed situation. I have good general ideas, the implementation, well, that certainly is the hard part, and convincing people to vote you, vote you or vote for you, that's the tough part. Thanks, and enjoy your college success, your high school success. Many songs occurred to me today. I did my day in music today, from the beginning song, water on my head, I got out of bed, I have the water dripping down, I am now going to go into town. It's the water on my head song, and remember to do the song, the light in the dark, that's a good one. And then of course, CCCP. CCCP. Okay, then ish 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 pish. Wish 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 ish ish ish. They could wish and pish. Okay, that's one. Then you have those things. Walking down the road every single day, doing this inside and that. Walking down the road. Okay, now that's the theme, and then you go. You know, uh, to all the people that by, walk by, you get to sing their theme song. So, you know, there's another ish, 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 blackish, short haired, uh, light skinned black woman walking in, you know, to, uh, to the various other parts of your day. So, to do musical composition, read your city and sing about what you see. Thank you. So anyway, I wanted to intersperse the billows themselves with Cindy's room, okay, and my sister. This is all being done so you can take part in the actual show. So anyway, Kristen Shaw, or you call her Louise, from Bob's Burger, is uh, said, while I was doing the Water on My Head song, she was saying, I peed a little because people were asking what you were doing in the morning. I was singing the song. She had to pee a little. So interspersed, you have Cindy's room and the sister, Kristen Shaw, who is uh, doing Louise on Bob's Burger and uh, another show. She's very, very busy. She was also one of the pages with Kenneth on 30 Rock. So this is a plea to get the sister and the, the Louise character back to do interspersed as himself style things with her room and Cindy's room in the middle. So. The point for today was about vision. It's part two, same show. Part two, same show. Yes, if someone has the eye in the sky, like a soldier, sailor, walker down the street, they run into people they meet. So, anyway, if someone is telling them, don't go in there, a sighted person might say, it looks fine, and disagree. I think the guy's messing with them on the eye in the sky. So the not sighted people are trying to help the sighted people with sighted people, and that conflict wrecks the world. Okay, sighted people will not listen to the voice in their head from the eye in the sky. That's it. So don't help sighted people with the same breath that you help the non sighted with. I certainly hope that makes sense. That's right, Louise. I heard you peed a little. Okay, okay, okay. 
You don't want to know what I said about the walking down the road every single day, doing this inside that walking down. Same old gosh darn thing. I ain't got a ring. People laugh and people say, I don't know what to bring. But to the party, there's a Spike Lee movie called The Mole Better Blues. So uh, I made up the song, I got the mole better blues, I got the mole better blues. Look around and get the mole better blues. Hey Bill, what's mole better? I got a phone taking pictures, I got a phone taking pictures. It's the blues on my hand taking pictures of the blues. I got the news, I got the mole better blues. That is mole better. Man had to develop pictures in the past. When you develop, you got to grow. You got to grow with development. That is more better. That ain't more better. That ain't more better. Taking a picture all the time makes me think about a rhyme. When I'm dancing in the street, I know just what to eat. Eating and dancing, singing and prancing. You know I got the more better blues. I got the more what's more better? Singing and dancing and taking a photo on your palm? That's more better. You got the more better blues. You got the more better blues. Tell me, what's more better? So anyway, when you got the mold better blues, you got the mold better blues. Hey man, tell me the news. Well, I tell you the crystal guys of water is two bucks down. It's crystal clean and I'm drinking it down. That ain't more better. The clean water lake, put it by the shake, shake it all up and have it for your supper. Mm. That's more better. No dollar water. So what I say to you, you know what to do. When you got the more better blues, you better know what to do. Mm. Hey man, tell me the news. Hey cheese, what do you say, meat? Together we make meat and cheese. These guys, they were doing a film, wonderlusting, doing everything like hippies do. But, but if they had a goat, or they had a cow, they could get milk, okay? They could make a fire, they could make heated milk. A little bit of vinegar and the curd was separate from the way making cheese meat. Heated milk, Vinegar, okay. That's the curds, the fire them into curds. They separate cheese cloth, a little strainer action. Any sort of cloth you have in there. Pour it in that clean cloth. Squeeze out the extra way. Let it dry for an hour in a, in a little old ball of cheese cloth. One hour, that's all it takes. That's what you call a ricotta cheese. Okay. Now you take that ricotta, you put it in some sort of blender, masher, whatever you got to do there. That'll whip up into a cream cheese. That's delightful. And you can also use a richer cream, or you can use a leaner milk. I just can't leave less curd, but you can do that. All right. Try mixing any kind of other stuff in the citric acid. Make something. So lemon juice and grape juice. Pop. Fresh cola. Well, same deal. Squeeze it. Good. That's cheese. Take care of me. Hi, it's me again. I thought I'd comment on what's called the sub and the up today. Many people know the nations of the world prepared for war. After the Second World War that went nuclear, the United States built missile silos. They also be built bunkers for people to live in. When I said the sub and the up, some people took to their basements. All the countries of the world have these things now, these basements. That's all I was talking about. Some are racist, some are not. Some are anti-Semitic, some are not. Every now and then, they will make raids on the people that live nicely on the face of the earth. People that tried college, people that tried to work in an office, often found themselves victims of the criminal raiders and the governments that live underground. Which would you rather be?
living under the ground or attempting to improve the face of the earth. They have everything. They have every life. They have women. They have stored seeds from everything, stored human seed, and they could make a whole generation back to life in 20 years when the children grow up. They could s supply them with lives and computer files and everything that would get them back up along with the crops. So I hope everyone that lives on the top heeds the warning and those living under, be good to us, please. Okay, so you've met my sister, my sister. Now let's not forget me wanting, pining was the word I had, but I switched out for this other one, Cindy, because she wanted to hear the line, and I'm going to give it. Your eyes are like pools bathed in the moonlight. Lips sweeter than cherry wine. Oh, oh, honest young, deliver us the goods and free us from the truth that the vixen eat and go. Live long and prosper, the man said. The only thing I have to add is that cheaters never prosper to the young and the Young at heart, we need a new expression that you can learn. Cheaters blank, 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 or cheaters never blank. So you have to decide how to treat the cheater in today's world. We believe you're only cheating yourself. Hey, let me have an old fashioned. And, uh, you know, tell Louise to say something nice to someone.